Hello there! In this lecture, we are going to dive into the world of wrapping items in Flexbox. We have our standard nav bar here with three items, and each of them naturally takes up as much width as the content, and each of them naturally take as much width as the content within them requires. Now, let's say we want to target each item and give them a fix width of 300 pixels. As you can see, they now occupy the entire width of the container. However, here is the catch. They aren't exactly 300 pixels wide each. They scale down when the container's total width is less than 900 pixels. But when within the container, they indeed span to 300 pixels each. This behavior might seem a bit perplexing. Flexbox does allow you to set a fixed width space if the container does have enough space to accommodate it. Additionally, by default, Flexbox does allow items to wrap to the next row or column. This behavior is due to the flex wrap property, which is set to no wrap by default. In this configuration, items are forced into a single row or column along the main axis. However, when we change the flex wrap property to wrap, magic happens. Flexbox now allows items to wrap to the next line or row when there is not enough space for them in the current row. For instance, when the container can't fit all items horizontally, they wrap to the next line. As we shrink the containers further, it wraps the one per row, ensuring that each item has enough space. This quickly introduction to flex wrap should give you a good start. In the next lecture, we will delve deep into flexbox. So stay tuned, I'll be right here to guide you through it. <laughs>